लॉग ऑन ट्रिगर्स इन एस क्यूएल सर्वर हाई आई एम एम आसिफ हुसैन फ्रॉम नोहब अकाडमी वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर लॉग ऑन ट्रिगर्स इन एस क्यूएल सर्वर वॉट आर द यूजर्स ऑफ लॉग ऑन ट्रिगर्स इन एस क्यूएल सर्वर वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ एंड इन वॉट वे वी कैन राइट और वी कैन फेच द ओरिजिनल लॉग इन इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड द प्रोसेस इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम आवर लॉग इन डेटा एंड वी आर इवन गोइंग टू सी how to create the triggers for the log on event so at the end of this video you are going to understand what is the importance and how we have to create the log on triggers in sql server so let's work on it in the name when i am talking about log on what does it mean it is giving us the information about the login information login details so it is very obvious that in every organization we go or in every where we are working so the time when we are using the database okay we have to give some credentials am i right so what are the credentials the username the password the windows authentication so we have to give all these things many of the times the organization will give one common email id and password for one team all right so where everyone will be collaboratively working and many of the situations where you will be having the individual login id credentials and all so when you have this login details if someone from your organization would like to see who have logged in into your particular database at what time what is the username or the original login name what is the process id on what time on what date so we would like to see all these information so for that okay we use the logon event so first let us fetch the information so for that i am writing the statement select now what i am selecting i am selecting the user process which i would like to see in the output then i would like to see the original login name original login name and after that i would like to fetch all the rest of the informations from the system dot dm underscore executing sessions okay so this you will have it by default here so i would like to order this in a descending order i mean who what is the descending from bigger to smaller am i right so in the it means here i am ordering what i am ordering the login time the maximum time will come first and according to that it will reduce it one by one in which order i would like to order it in a descending order all right so now when i would like to execute this we could see the process id we could see the original login name then we could see the session id at what time this particular id has logged in what is the host name program name host id client version security id so this star is indicating all these informations so like this we have n number of informations in this one as you can see but when i have specifically mentioned user process and original login name we get only user process and original login name and rest all these information so as it is very difficult for us to include all these columns one by one in the select statement so to just avoid the space and the time and in you know, order to save the time i have written this star here so star is indicating all these columns which you are seeing here on the screen all right so now by looking at the results at here what can you understand what can we predict so we can predict that this log on event that i am talking to you or the video that you are listening today as a log on triggers this will be useful or this will be helpful to know the tracking activity the logging activity that we can track it from this one which is the first use and we could limit the number of sessions for a user so what is the limit for a number of sessions so as you can see that as i take a new query now that will become an one session again i'll select a new query again that will become a new session so we can limit the restriction for this log i mean for this number of sessions for a single user so that i'll show it to you once we create so let me just remove this okay now another important information which will be helpful to you is that this log on triggers whenever we are creating we should make sure that how many number of sessions you would like to give an access to an individual user okay so what and why is it important to restrict the sessions to a specific user the reason is that the more number of new sessions you take 
the amount of the size that the database is occupying and the mismatch of data might be happening when we use with the number of sessions to overcome all these we can limit the number of sessions for a specific user okay and we can even restrict the login to sql server also so that is also possible so these are the different uses or advantages we have it when we use this logon trigger so now let us go and create this logon trigger so for this i am creating a trigger with the trigger name which is logon triggers as it is a trigger name i am specifying it with the tr at the first okay and i am creating this trigger on all server okay in the whole server of this particular microsoft sql server management studio for which event for a logon event now as begin as i have begin it i have to end it at last so which is very common in every trigger that we created so now what i am trying to do i am declaring a variable what is a variable at name is a variable so name is what data type var char data type so you can give any size as per the number of characters of name that you are entering in it, into it so now i am setting this variable with the original login information okay so this is a built in function original login okay it will return the system name now i am writing an if condition here if condition is that i would like to see the count okay the count of overall from this system information where the user process id equal to 1 and the original login information with the variable that i have considered here i am restricting restricting it to greater than 5 okay so now i am beginning it with a print message so whichever is the fifth connection with the variable name and that should be blocked okay to not miss my data what i am doing i am using rollback which is like an undo then i am ending up the statement okay the trigger statement so as i have begin it i have to end it so now as you can see i let me go and create this logon trigger so the output for this one is commands completed successfully so now if we see here let me take the let me take the new sessions 1 2 3 4 it is not accepting okay so fifth connection four we have got it but the fifth connection it is not accepting why it is not accepting because a trigger is fired here okay because a trigger is fired here fifth connection it should be blocked okay four connections we have it one which we are already using and this is the fifth connection so fifth connection i have to block it so that's where i am restricting the number of sessions here okay so this logon trigger it will be helpful to restrict the number of sessions for a specific user and to showcase the original login information with the user process id session id who have logged in into our server with what date on what time with what id and with what login name every information we could get it using this information okay so as you can see even when i am trying to connect okay i am not getting it okay so now what i am going to do so let me close all this my dear viewers so the logon trigger is a very important trigger to know the login information in our server so if any sort of interview question is being asked what is a logon trigger it's you what is a logon event you can simply info that this logon event will give us the information about who have logged in into our particular server with what system name with what user process id with what session id and all these informations we could see it using logon event and we are creating a trigger for this logon event on our complete server to avoid the number of sessions to be used for our no specific user and to the specific login details that we have it in our server so thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning